hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy tech web hack so today i'm going to be showing you how you can downgrade your wordpress version now i do a lot of complain about how you can update your wordpress version how you can also downgrade it now to do that is very simple um, some plugins might not be compatible to the latest version and also your know, team you're trying to use might probably not be compatible with the wordpress version that's not a problem so old version teams and plugins can be downgraded which can be able to use to to, to what you want to do until the developer or wherever you get the plugin from like make it available you understand but it's very very important to know that you need to upgrade or update your version due to security reasons and so many other stuff now if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell please don't forget to share my videos and also don't forget to drop in the comment section what challenges and issue you're facing and also don't forget to also like like the videos once you like the video i would know if you're actually interested and if you actually want to want to get more content from me i would always be posting videos every day i'll try my possible best to do that but now back to the video so this is this wp in case you don't know how to create get a free hosting free domain and hosting you can use watch this video over here you get the guide on getting a free domain and hosting now it's still the same concept just watch the video to understand how i was able to navigate to this place now the next thing is you should come over to this plugin section and you're going to click on add new plugin so once you click on add new plugin you're going to click here you're going to type in wp downgrade now wp downgrade basically to to change the core version of your wordpress so i just have this click install and then you click on activate now once you click on activate what you're going to do next is you're going to come back to settings here or you go to settings here you're going to see wp downgrade so you can access it from this place or you just locate settings here to to do that so once i'm going, I'm going to click on settings and now the next is i'm going to change my wordpress version this is the default wordpress version this is the default wordpress version so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on this that's changing it to i can just come over to this place and see the latest release you can see that um this latest release then this this was the year it was released this 6.4.2 which was December 6 you can see this is what you need to do uh, 6.4.1 6.4 now imagine i'm trying to move it to 5.8.3 this one over here so let's see what what 5.8.3 covers so if you're looking at 5.8.3 so 5.8.3 was basically 2022 so now let's let's say you want to use an old version plugin so i'm going to click on i'm going to click on this Now, as you can see over here, this is basically the old version of WordPress. So let's see. Um, let's go to user. Sorry, let's go to settings. Let's go to downgrade. You can see here that we're currently using. Let's save changes. We're currently using 5.8.3 now in case you want to confirm to this you can see that i'm going to install um elementor let's see what elementor is going to tell us once we once we install it so i'm going to click on install then the next thing i'm going to do is i want to click on activate very good so now we're going to go to settings and then you can see what's new dashboard 
then convert to settings and basically this is how you can use the the downgraded version so you can click to update to call so you can just click on install version 5.8.3 okay so let's do this all right so now like i said is because i'm using TSWP. if you use it on a live server it's going to work perfectly well don't panic if you use it on live server it's going to work perfectly well that's simply how you can downgrade you can see here it says fatal error and you're studying that wordpress setting so if you want to do what i just did now you need a live server to make it work but basically what i just showed you earlier on is how you can navigate your wordpress and also downgrade it so if it works for you feel free to drop in the comment section that you're able to do that and um, if you have any question feel free to reach out to me you can use email or you can also contact me using the link you can contact me using the link and then don't forget to also share this video to your friends and